Now you can do an awful lot of cool things in Dragon's Dogma 2, but sometimes you can easily overlook things that can really be handy on your journey. One of the things that I really enjoyed was finding the Forger early on in the game. If you've been to the town of Vernworth, you'll just be able to grab an ox cart all the way to the checkpoint breast town, and then you're going to make your way just up in this direction. Keep heading along until you find this fella just here, and this is going to be Abraham's Scrap Store. Now after a whole bunch of trial and error, there were a few things that I found absolutely amazing to make counterfeits of, and other things not so much so and a little bit more of a waste of time, or just a waste of gold. One of the great things I found to forge was going to be some of your quest items. Things like the Gale Keys are absolutely amazing, it means you can go back there, have a little look, see if there's anything you missed, other such things such as tomes, and of course the Jade Eye Orb are absolutely amazing, and allow you to complete the quests and sometimes in multiples, because you can give them to several people at once. Now obviously I haven't tried every quest item, but if there's something you think you might be able to duplicate, there's a good chance you probably can. Next up, and we're going to be going over upgrade materials. I tried an absolute abundance, and almost all of them are able to be forged. So if you're trying to upgrade some of your gear, and you're missing one or two upgrade items, but you've got one of them, this might be a really nice and easy way in order to duplicate them to upgrade your gear fast. Now again, I didn't try every single upgrade, but I did try a whole host of them, and most of the resources worked out absolutely perfect. However, there was one I tried that didn't work out, so it looks like some of them may not be ideal. So you may want to save just before doing this, just in case. Now another great thing that you might want to forge is going to be some of your actual mainstay items. I'd say probably especially your healing items. So if you've got any robberants, or even better than that, if you've got some panacea on you. You'll be able to get these very early on this way, and even though they do cost quite a bit of money, there's actually quite a few ways in this game now to make money very early on. And having these in your inventory could mean a difference between a tough battle and falling over right at the end of it, or absolutely smashing your foes to pieces. Now they're pretty much the best ones and now I'm going to go over a few that I really wanted to work however they were pretty awful. The first one is going to be your fairy stone, this one comes back another misspelling, costs you I believe about 8 grand to make this and is absolutely worthless so you're going to want to leave these well alone. After that will be your golden trove beetle, perfect for like reducing your weight and such but now nah, this comes back as golden stove beetle and instead is just a kind of nibble of chocolate. So leave that well alone, it's not going to help you at all. Like I said, there are a few upgrade resources that tend not to work. One of the main ones I found was going to be the Worm's Life Crystal. This comes back with a misspelling and again is absolutely worthless. Finally, the last one, one that I wish definitely worked but doesn't, and that's going to be your Seeker's Token. Again, this comes back as Cedar's Token, another coin made of chocolate that you can nibble on get a little bit of health back but it's not going to do the job you wanted hopefully that's helped a few of you guys girls out so you know what to waste your money on and what not to and as always there'll be a whole bunch more content on the way from me for now take care i'll see you on the next day